In this video, we will discuss what we mean by domain and range of a function and how do we find range of a function for a given domain. So, as we know uh, from the definition of a function that a function is nothing but a relation from set x to set y. Okay, if each element of set x which we also call as input is related to exactly one element of the set y which is called as output. So if we are giving an input say x, function will operate on it and give you an output f of x. Mathematically this is how we represent a function. We write f of x equal 3x plus 1 for instance. So here f stands for the name of the function x values are nothing but the input. In mathematical terms, we call it domain. Then the value like 3x plus 1, it is called output. In mathematical terms, it is known as range. So let's understand this with the help of example. Suppose you have given a function fx is equal 3x plus 10. Okay, and we have to find the domain and range of the function. So, f is from x to y. Okay, f is the name of your function. x is input. So, input generally we call as domain. So, you can see the values of x in the first set. So, we call it as domain. Now, we need to find the range. Range means the elements to which 2, 5 and minus 1 is mapped through this function. So, in this question, when it is asked to find domain and range, domain will be the set, the numbers in the first set x. So, it will be 2, comma, 5, comma, minus 1. This is how we represent the elements inside a curly bracket and separated by a comma. Now, to find that to which number this 2 maps to. So, we have to check. We have fx equal 3x plus 10. This is our function. Now here what we will do, the value of x we replace by 2. So when we are replacing on the left side x by 2, we have to change or replace it even on the right side. So what we will get? f in place of x we will write 2 equal on the right hand side we don't change anything except x. So, we keep 3 same. In place of x, we write 2 and then plus 10 same. So, this is the value of the function at x equal to 2. So, if we simplify and calculate it, 3 times 2 gives you 6 plus 10 which is 16. So, we can write it here. 2 is mapping to the element 16. In the same way, we calculate the value of the function at x equal to 5. So, when x is equal to 5, the function becomes f. Again, we are just replacing the value of x by 5. Okay. So, this gives you 3 times. Don't change anything. Just change the value of x. 3 times 5 plus 10. So, this gives you 3 times 5 is 15 plus 10, which gives you 25. So, 5 is mapped to 25. Okay, then next, what we have to do? We have to replace x by minus 1. Working in the same way, we get f. The value is negative of 1. Okay, is equal 3 is same, change it by negative of 1 plus 10. So, when we simplify 3 times negative of 1 gives you negative of 3 plus 10. Here you see that 10 minus 3. So, whenever it is plus and minus, we always subtract. So, we subtract 10 minus 3 from 3 from 10 that gives you 7. And we write the sign of the bigger number which is 10. So, it is positive 7. So, minus 1 is mapped to the number 7. So, the second set gives you the range. 
elements which map to 2, 5 and minus 1. So, in this case, the range become 16, 25 and 7. I hope it's clear. Let's move to the next question. In this question, the function change. This is your set x and this is your set y. Your function f from x to y. So, can you tell me what is the domain here? Correct. So, domain will be the numbers in the first set. 2, 5 and minus 1. Okay. These numbers change according to the question. Now, to find the range, what we will do? We replace the x by the numbers 2, 5 and minus 1. So, let's do it. f of 2. In this case, it becomes 2 power 2 minus 2 times 2 plus 5. So, what we did? We replace x by 2. Okay. On simplification, what it gives you? 4. Minus 2 times 2 is also 4 plus 5. This gives you 5. I hope you remember 2 power 2 is nothing but 2 multiplied 2. That gives you 4. Okay. So, this 2 is mapped to 5. Now, replacing x by 5. This gives you 5 power 2 minus 2 times 5 plus 5. So, you replace this x by 5. On simplification, it gives you 5 times 5, 25. 5 times 2, 10 plus 5. So, when you simplify it, 25 minus 10 gives you 15 plus 5. You get 20. So, 5 is mapped to 20. Then, similarly, for x is equal to minus 1, what you get? Again, the same thing. You replace x by minus 1. Minus 2 times minus 1 plus 5. So, what we did? We just replace the value of x by minus 1. If we simplify, minus 1 2 times. Minus minus 2 times gives you plus Minus minus become plus 2 times 1 is 2 plus 5. When you add them, 5 plus 2, 7 plus 1, 8. So you get the number as 8. So yes, the range will become the numbers in the second set, set 5, 5, 20, and 8. So this is the way how we find the domain and range for the function. Now note that. These values of x change based on the question. Okay.